How to fix a paper jam on HP DeskJet 2700 and DeskJet Plus 4100 series printers. If your printer stops feeding pages and displays an E4 error while the resume light blinks, the paper might be jammed inside the printer. There might be a paper jam reported even when no paper is jammed. The following steps apply to both real and false paper jam reports. First, remove all paper from the input tray. To avoid tearing any whole sheets of paper, pull the paper with both hands. Gently remove any jammed bits of torn paper from the input tray. A pair of tweezers may be required. When the paper tray path has been cleared, reload the input tray with new, genuine HP paper that has been stored in a cool, dry location. Then, press the Resume button on the printer control panel. If the current print job does not restart, the jam may be in another location. Examine the output tray and carefully remove any jammed paper or bits of torn paper from the output tray. Open the ink cartridge access door and wait for the carriage to move to the center of the printer. Before heading ahead, into the video in case you are facing any issue with your HP printer device, get in touch with our HP printer expert. Use a flashlight to check for any jammed paper or foreign objects in the cartridge access area and gently remove it with both hands. Slide the carriage all the way to the right and remove any paper or objects that may be blocking the carriage path. Now close the ink cartridge access door. If your printer has a document feeder, lift the cover of the document feeder to remove any jammed paper. With both hands, carefully pull any jammed paper out of the rollers. Caution: If the paper tears when you are removing it from the rollers, be sure to check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If you don't remove all the pieces, you could have more paper jams. Now, firmly press down the document feeder cover until it snaps into place. If you are still not able to print, try cleaning the printer's paper rollers with an automated tool. First, remove all paper from the input tray and make sure the power is still on. Then press and hold the power button, press the cancel button three times, press the start copy color button seven times, then release the power button. Wait about 10 minutes for your printer to stop making noises before you proceed. Once completed, try to print again. If the problem persists, continue to the next step. Over time, dust, paper fiber, and other debris might accumulate on the device and cause issues. The solution is to clean the rollers inside your printer. Now raise the printer input tray. Lift and hold the input tray shield. Using a flashlight, look down through the open input tray area. Locate the gray paper pick rollers. Run the dampened cotton swab along the length of the first roller. Slightly rotate the roller with the swab to reveal more surface area and clean the exposed area. Continue this process for both of the paper pick rollers. When complete, lower the input tray shield. Wait 10 minutes for the rollers to completely dry. Plug the power cord back into its power source, preferably a wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord and any other cables into the printer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos. And in the case face any problem get in touch with the experts.